Like and subscribe right now, or this spider is gonna crawl on your face while you're sleeping. 10 Scary Yet Beautiful Facts About Space and Us Space, the final frontier to boldly go where no one has gone before. And the beauty and serenity of it all is simply astounding, mind-blowing, and definitely unbelievable for sure. We don't even know half of what's going on out there, and that's due to it being so vast and so phenomenally expansive. How could we? Well, some of our technologies have allowed us to explore parts of this vastness, but we're yet to learn more because it's just so incredibly overwhelming. Welcome to Mind Read, everyone. We're extremely happy that you could join us here today, and we're here with another awesome topic video just for you to get intrigued by. This very exciting countdown is on the cool topic of 10 scary yet beautiful facts about space and us. Remember to stay tuned to the end of this video too, so that we can tell you all about angels in space. Wow, we're really going to take you to a whole other world that's wrapped around the Earth and far, far out into the expanse of the universe. And apparently, it's really cold out there. So bring some warm clothes and your fluffy socks. A spacesuit might help too. Number 10. At the 10th spot, we're going to introduce you to astronaut footprints. Yes, indeed. Now, you might be thinking that if you wore this get up on Earth, some people might start staring a little bit. Well, unless you're dressing up as Neil Armstrong for that starting with an N character party, or maybe a space-themed birthday for your nephew's birthday celebration, you probably wouldn't be wearing something so unique. That'd be fun, though. In fact, we're guessing that if you're walking around on Earth in space boots, that the footprints might not last long, especially if there's wind or rain as elements. I don't know, possibly a week, give or take, that they might last for? Oh, and we'd have to factor in the ground type as well, if it's sand or gravel, let's say. Well, in space, it's said that footprints can last for a million years. Whoa, hold the phone! That information is crazy! We're specifically talking about the moon in this case, and since it has no atmosphere and wind, it's possible that the footprint might be there for an infinite length of time. That is one small step for man, a one giant, long-lasting imprint on the moon for an uncertain amount of time for mankind. Pardon the pun there. And this cool information takes our 10th spot in a countdown for 10 scary yet beautiful facts about space and us. Before we move on, I've got a challenge for you that will only take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. Leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And boom, 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine. At spot number nine, we're going to explain the unseen terror of the synonymous black hole. Thankfully, we don't have these on Earth. We have manholes and sinkholes, but black holes, so far, aren't a part of our life as we know it on Earth. At least, not yet anyways. Actually, there is a black hole that has been studied by science in recent times, and which has slowly been swallowing up parts of the Milky Way galaxy, the space around part of our home, the atmosphere, which is a part of our special locality in the universe, in fact. In 2007, the whole spacecraft captured the black hole moving at 5 million miles per hour through the galaxy. And a black hole is famously known for swallowing up anything in its path, and apparently weighing the same as a billion suns as being estimated as 8 million light years away from Earth. So that's a huge relief, although its speed is ridiculously fast. Number 8. At the 8th spot, we're talking about sounds in space. Yes, and although sounds in space might not be clear enough for humans due to the way sound travels, they still do occur. Some sounds that are detectable in space include the shifting of the Earth's crust, making a groaning type sound, expansion residual noise as the universe grows bigger, the mammoth roar of the sun as it burns like wildfire, and the unusual hum which can be detected from the massiveness of enormous black holes. These sounds are definitely different to the cars and buses, bird songs and winds, the pitter-patter of rain on a stormy day, or the sounds of humans as they talk, laugh, cry, or even sing. Number 7. At spot number 7, we're talking about how the universe is still buffering. But what on earth do we mean by that word? We're about to find out right now. Everything we see as humans is not in real time as we look up into the vastness of space. Actually, the incredibleness of light coming from faraway stars and planets hasn't yet reached us. At least, not in real time. 
It's so far away that it's actually from the past, in fact. If you can see stars in the sky like they're truly there, you might actually still be noticing the light of a star that already had its time, and there is a time delay in how light reaches us here on Earth. And this distance to light factor could be called buffering. The human eye might see it now, but is it still there? Or is it light coming from times passed by? How unbelievably incredible. Wow, here on Earth, everything occurs in real time, and there's definitely no guessing with this buffering phenomenon. Like, when you look into the depths of the realms of space, and this takes our seventh spot on the countdown for the 10 scary yet beautiful facts about space and us. Number six. At spot number six, we're looking at how small we are in comparison to the enormity of space. In reality, and as humans, we think our world is extremely big, and it is compared to how small we are in comparison to the Earth's size. But what about how teeny tiny we are compared with space? That might blow your mind if we explain this phenomenon. 24,874 miles is the equator size for the circumference of the Earth, and to humans, that sounds enormous, right? And then, it's 24,860 miles from the South Pole to the North Pole, and so another ginormous measurement here. But let's grasp the sizing as we look at other planets in our solar system, including our gigantic Sun a massive and roaring star. From the sun, there are other stars too, and many of them are a whole lot bigger than our own. In fact, some have been estimated as being five million times bigger than our own giant sun. That is incredible. As a part of Milky Way galaxy, there are trillions of stars within it. Trillions, yes. Impressed yet? Well, we certainly are. In fact, within our galaxy, astronomers have, so far, found over 500 different solar systems, with many scientists believing that tens of billions will be discoverable in the future. Number five, we're talking about space debris now. And this is something we don't have to contend with much here on Earth, because usually anything entering our atmosphere gets burned up, so it isn't really a massive problem here. So, space debris. Let's take a look and see what space is up against here. Actually, it's definitely possible that the asteroids hurtling through space might reach us someday. Some are said to be big enough to destroy entire cities, and so far, we've been lucky enough to miss them in our lifetime. It is said that the moon's craters are many, and that they're due to a constant asteroid bombardment in the past. In fact, some scientists believe that we should be more closely studying this phenomenon just in case one does get close, as there have been many near misses so far. Let's see what's at our next spot for our awesome countdown today. We've ducked and missed the asteroids, thankfully, so let's see what else might intrigue us now. Number four. At spot number four, we're talking about the supervoid. Does this sound familiar to you? Probably not. In 2004, within the galactic hemisphere, a supervoid was discovered by scientists. Here, the Andromeda and the Milky Way reside. Within its emptiness, it is said that approximately 10 thousand galaxies are missing. And this is quite a dramatic part of space where nothing seems to be, so it is a literal void in space. On Earth, we don't have spaces like this. In fact, everything is covered as far as we know with mountains or streams or perhaps cities and roads. There aren't huge gaps that leave us wondering, but in space, there are. And this void has been intriguing scientists and astronomers since they discovered it in 2004. And this cool supervoid takes our fourth spot in the countdown for the 10 scary yet beautiful facts about space and us. We really thought we'd have more to show you in this spot, but apparently there's nothing to see here. Number three. At the third spot in the countdown, we're telling you about supernovas. And those aren't on Earth either, thank goodness. The enormity of these explosive anomalies are way too huge for our atmosphere, that's for sure. And so supernovas belong solely to space. Supernovas are massive explosions which occur as a star explodes at the end of its lifetime. In our galaxy, a supernova occurs approximately once in every century. Stars are massive generators of energy, fusing masses of hydrogen into helium. And when a star's hydrogen is spent, this is when the helium begins to fuse into heavier metals. As this occurs, the core of the star begins to get smaller as the outer layers begin expanding. Therefore, turning into what is known as a red giant. The massive explosion of the star is called a supernova. And today, that takes our third spot for our countdown for the 10 scary yet beautiful facts about space and us. Number 
number two. Here's our best pick, and this one is sent in by Julian Tobias from Seattle. Thanks, Julian. We're definitely intrigued by this picture. It looks as though we have a picture of the Earth in 1978, and then another one in our planet in the year 2066. Can any of our viewers work out why the 1978 pick is so lush and why the futuristic pick is so devastated? Is there something we do here on Earth that doesn't occur in space? Is it to do with our atmosphere and how we treat it, perhaps? Julian sent a little note with his pick, which said, Unfortunately, if humans continue to be greedy and uncaring about our world, this will be the state of our beautiful Earth in the future. We'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. And how can humans live better so that we're more in tune with our Earth and atmosphere? We'd certainly like to thank Julian for sending this one into MindRead. We all need to think more clearly about our own carbon footprints as we live on this beautiful planet, it seems. Have you got any great ideas to help? Like using solar power or recycling? These are our ideas as examples here at the channel. And this takes our second spot in the countdown for the 10 scary yet beautiful facts about space and us. Number one. At the number one spot now, we're letting you in on the idea of angels in space. Let's take a look at this one right now. We know you're probably intrigued by this idea, just as we were when we stumbled across it here at the channel. Many spiritualists and some religions believe in heaven or heavens as denoted in some ancient texts. But where is it from, if it's a real place that is? Many say up in the heavens or up there, as they refer to where a loved one's soul might have gone after they passed on. But up there is actually in space, right? Well, I guess it depends on how far you want to go. But the mysteries of space are still unknown to us, and we know there's no heaven on Earth, right? Or maybe we just haven't found it yet. Very intriguing, too, is that NASA is said to have heard sounds in space that are likened to angels, and that it was in May of 1969 that the trio of the Apollo 10 mission circled the moon and recorded unusual whistling sounds in a program which was featured in NASA's unexplained files. We're not quite sure why these sounds were likened to angels, but we do know that they could not pinpoint any other reason for them at the time of the recording. And angels in space, are they real or not? This takes our number one spot in the countdown today for the 10 scary yet beautiful facts about space and us. So far on Earth, no one's heard of angels yet, or have they? Tell us below in the comments section. We'd sure love to hear from you, our awesome and intelligent viewers. Thanks so much for joining us here at MindRead today. We're so glad you spent your valuable time with us. In fact, we've got tons of videos from you to choose from in our playlist, so buckle up and check in on our cool channel for more and more. We hope to see you real soon, and have a brilliant day, everyone.